you something yesterday about how the peace issue and the fracking issue are related. War is destructive of the earth. There's a, a number of reasons. And number one, war is very destructive of the earth. And the drones would seem kind of less destructive. In fact, crash a lot. Don't step on my poster here. Um, they crash a lot and they uh, kill people and they keep the wars going. The other thing, though, that relates them is that essentially peace supports the global community. And uh, the absence of fracking and the end of the oil based economy supports the globe, the earth itself. And the global community and the earth are interdependent. And if we want to, uh, if we want to have a world that's safe and peaceful and loving, then we also need to have a world that is not uh, under constant threat of destruction by technology. And if we want to have a global community uh, that's at peace, then uh, we have to work with the earth. We have to return to our respect for the earth. And I think those of us who really respect the earth are not going to be running around shooting other people with drones or otherwise because killing people is disrespectful of uh, the earth and the inhabitants of the earth because we are part of the earth just as the animals and the grass and the air are part of the earth. And every time you kill a person, every time you put some pollutants in the air, every time you do anything destructive to and pointless on this earth, then you are uh, violating uh, the contract that we all should be having with life. So I hope that uh, people will see the connection between the wars and wanting to have uh, our own part of the earth free of, of poison and toxins. Because Essentially, the whole earth has to be free of poison and toxins. It's all one entity. You can't say, uh, sorry, I'm only going to poison your foot, so that's all right, your hands will be okay. Because it's all one thing. It's all connected. And so that's why I'm here.